juicers. Just wanted to give you a quick idea of how the search uh, function is used to find your keywords that might be uh, in your niche. So here I am up in the search bar. You can actually even see, well, those are my recent searches. These are trending ideas, if you're ever curious about what is trending. Um, but as you know, keywords are words or phrases that are used to search for specific content. So here as an example, I'm going to say, let's say I am looking to travel in Italy and I want to find some tips. Um, I would say travel to Italy. And right here, you can see that these are the most popular keyword searches used with the phrase that I just started typing in. So one is travel to Italy, travel to Italy tips, travel to Italy packing, and then we've got travel to Ireland in case I misspelled Italy, and travel to Italy cheap. Uh, you can also see there are some people who have um, travel to Italy in their profile, and then you can also see that there are some boards called Travel to Italy. So again, um, you want to just be wary of and mindful of what other people are, what kind of phrases people are searching for, and if they fit into your niche and make sense for your board and what you're using, uh, use those words. Don't come up with, you know, my travel to Italy today, or, you know, just keep it very simple use what's here and then you can also actually use these as tips and ideas for blog content or new content or new boards uh, that you think might be helpful. I'm obviously thinking this is for one of our juicers who owns a villa in Italy so if she wants to find out what people are searching for or interested in the topic that's related to her niche this is definitely one way to do it. Travel to Italy, Italy tips, Italy packing. Um, so you can look at it a, a couple of different ways. Let's look at Italian stuff. Well, then we go into Italian foods, and that's not necessarily related to someone who has a villa in Italy. But let's see. Then we go into, so I just typed in Italian travel. Now we've got things like Italian travel quotes, Italian travel outfits, what a great idea. Italian travel phrases, another great idea for a blog post, or Italian travel style. So you can kind of just, what I do is just go through with my niche and um, this is to stay in Italy. Uh, that's not a popular one. I mean, that in itself is fine, but I think that's interesting that there aren't other um, keyword phrases, keywords and phrases that follow that. Um, let's say Villa in Italy. Interesting. So now we're looking Villa in Italy, Villa in Italy, Tuscany, Villa in Italy houses. Let's look up the actual location, Orvieto, whoops, Orvieto, Italy, Orvieto as a, as a city, Orvieto, it Italy travel, Orvieto, Italy caves, Orvieto, Italy, Italy pottery, and then you can also see that people have some boards named after Orvieto, Italy. So a good idea when you're doing your homework is start typing in subject matter that is related to your niche, whether it's food, whether it's artwork um, or travel, just start typing those things in and write down what the keywords are in that niche and you will be that much further ahead of, of um, searchable content. People are going to find you faster and then I'm going to show you where you want to put these keywords and why you want to keep them in mind as you go through your posting and your blog writing and your board naming, etc. So in a nutshell, that's what we've got for keywords. That's the easiest way to find keywords. Before I let go, I want to show you one more thing. I have actually selected Orvieto, Italy, and now I'm going to see the additional, they call these, I think this is an enhanced search, I believe that's what they call it, and now you can also see some other specific um, search words that someone may have used regarding that subject matter. So we've got caves, had no idea there were caves in, in Orvieto. Um, you can do travel, pottery, wine, cathedrals, hotels, 
beautiful is a descriptor for Orvieto. Food, day trips, pictures, Google, Rome. So um, that is another way you want to look and find other keywords and other related searches to keep your content really honed in and working toward what other people are looking for rather than you sort of blindly coming up with content uh, that you think is going to be popular. So uh, we will talk more about what you want to do with these keywords in the next issue.